It is my honor to say I am joined by Robbie Lawler. Robbie, I don't even know where to start here, but on your walk out to the Octagon, were the emotions different this time around? You spoke to us this week about not trying to focus on the fact that it's your last one until it's over, but did it feel any different as you made your way? Uh, I felt the love of the crowd, so that's what I was trying to use to energize me and absorb. And uh, it, it, was, it was nice just to take a moment to kind of like focus on this fight, but focus on this moment and it's going to be my last time and let's enjoy it. Yeah, 2002, you made your UFC debut. The throwback videos were amazing. A little bit of a different hair, baby face Robbie Lawler. But when the UFC showed you that montage, I mean, emotionally, we finally saw a little bit out of Robbie Lawler. What was it like for you to be able to share those highlights of your career with fans who were literally chanting your name? Yeah, it was awesome. It was, I, I felt the love and appreciation uh, fans are giving back to me. Uh, I've given so much to the sport and it's nice that all these fans and everyone around the UFC appreciates what I've done. And it's an honor to fight in the octagon. It's an honor to watch you fight. When you went out there against Nico Price, I mean, you had the storybook ending that so many athletes don't get to have. You said you didn't feel great in camp, but what was the difference inside the octagon? Uh, today I just had a moment at about 2.30 and I'm like, oh, okay, I feel good. Like, And then I hopped up and then when I got to the arena, I, somebody one of the, somebody here was like, love you, Robbie. And I'm like, I felt the emotion. My body felt good. Like sometimes you show up to these things and, and you don't feel good, but guess what? You still have to figure it out. But today I felt good. My feet were moving well and, and I, I found my rhythm. You are essentially every fighter's and every fight fan's favorite fighter. But do you have a favorite moment, a favorite fight, or maybe something we don't know about that happened during your fight career? Oh, uh, like, no, it's crazy. I just remember the first time I fought in the UFC. I, I had been knocking everyone out in the first round, and I'm fighting Aaron Riley, and it's grueling. And I'm, like, on the fence. Like, it's just a war. And I remember throwing up in my in my mouth and I'm like oh you better swallow that I don't want them to stop right. this fight but like just moments like that that you remember like just like a kid just going all out and I had never done it for more than five minutes in an actual fight so it was a little much for me yeah well obviously you overcame so many things you became UFC champion Robbie you realized so many dreams what happens now I know you already have a great coaching career is the focus on coaching you want to take some time off you want to hang out with Glenn and your wife I mean what's going on yeah, I mean, I'm going to go on a little vacation here or there, but I'm going to get back to the gym and, and uh, train these fighters and continue to give back to a sport that's given so much to me. And uh, I think I have so much technique out there, learned so much from so many people. I think I need to give this back to somebody else so that they can enjoy a great career. Well, they will be better for it for being in your presence. Robbie, thank you for the years of incredible battles, but also how kind you've always been to us backstage. I adore your wife. She was just so thrilled for you. It was beautiful to see her emotions tonight. You guys go celebrate. You deserve it. And we'll see you at your Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I know you got a fight in there already, but you're for sure going in as an individual. Thank you for your time and all the memories. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.